Northmont City Schools are changing their student release procedures after some kids don't get home until 7 last night. New at 11, Kelly May spoke with the district superintendent about how they're fixing the problem and parents about getting their kids home safe. They were trying to be patient, but they were scared and they were worried about their kids. Tuesday, the first day of school at the brand new Kleps Early Learning Center was supposed to go off without a hitch. We had a few kids on the wrong buses, was like 6 45, so it was late. It was very, very late, and I, there's no excuse for that. School started releasing the 800 preschool, kindergarten, and first grade students at 3.15 Tuesday afternoon. At 4.45, buses finally started to leave. Superintendent Zadek says their original dismissal plans took way too long, herding kids into the gym, then organizing them by bus. The other thing is, is we had some parents who wanted to pick their kids up on the first day, and they weren't really pick up students, they were bus riders, and we found ourselves pulling kids off of the bus to get in the car with their parents. On some buses, drivers waited 20 minutes at stops for parents to pick up their little ones. They're little, and so it takes more time, more time than we anticipated. So we started a little earlier, we've um, organized a little differently. Today's method seemed to work faster. It's 4.36 in the afternoon here at the Kleps Early Learning Center, and as you can see, the parking lot where parents have been picking up their kids has already been cleared for the day. But day two of school wasn't completely without its snags. Anastasia Hicks was picking up her baby sister. They weren't sure where she was at. Um, they had her listed as being on a bus. But she wasn't on that bus, she was with La Petite, which is fine. That had me panicking for a second, but now that I know where she's at, I'm fine. Now the superintendent did a one call to all parents today once all the buses had left for the day. And so parents would be aware. Now the district asked that in the future parents communicate when their child is taking the bus and when they'll be picked up.